Hi, Greg Bruns here with another useful tip for you. In troubleshooting pressure switches on a single stage condensing furnace with two pressure switches in it. When you come up to the job and you're getting the pressure switch code on the furnace, one of the first things you're, you got to think about is, okay, now which pressure switch is it? I got a condensate pressure switch and a vent pressure switch. Well, the fastest way that I can tell you to be able to identify which switch is giving you the problem is just using a three or five amp fuse. That circuit board's not that smart. It doesn't know it has two pressure switches because both pressure switches are wired in series. So all you have to do is pick one of those pressure switches, either one, because they have orange wires to them. You got orange wires on the vent pressure switch and orange wires going to the condensate pressure switch. All you need to do is take the two orange wires off of one of those pressure switches, put it on a fuse, and now the furnace has one pressure switch. And with having one pressure switch now, we can go ahead and start the furnace up, see if the code goes away and the furnace starts. If that's the case, then we know, okay, now we need to get a magnahelic gauge uh, tied into the vacuum line there, and maybe take an ohm meter and go across those contacts to see if the switch is actually closing or not closing, or if we're even getting enough vacuum. Maybe you got a plug flu or something like that. But to me, that's the fastest way coming up to the furnace you can quickly identify which pressure switch is not opening. Now, if you bypass one and it doesn't work, try bypassing the other one. If it still doesn't work, well then you need to bypass both of them. So what I recommend doing then is you bypass one before the call for heat and you have another fuse ready to go with the wires off the pressure switch and bypass that pressure switch after the call for heat. Then you shouldn't get that pressure switch code again. And if you do, then we know the problem is not the pressure switch circuit. It may be time to look at other circuitry within the furnace because there is times where you can get a false code on the board and we're looking at pressure switches when we need to be looking at a different problem in the furnace. It doesn't happen that often, but it does happen. So I hope you found this tech tip useful. Keep tuning in to edgetechhvac.com for more useful tips.